Hey everybody, it's Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today. And I am super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. This is our first Gladiator for 2024 on our lot. So I'm excited to do a video. It's got some really cool interior. Uh, as always, the window sticker for this vehicle is linked in the description below. So definitely check that out. I'm also gonna go over that at the end of the video. So uh, stick around for that. We're also gonna turn on all these LED lights, which are now standard on the Gladiator Mojave package for 2024. This is, of course, the mid-model refresh for the Gladiator. This color is Anvil. This is the first time I believe that Anvil's ever been offered on the Gladiator, so that's pretty exciting as well. The stock number is 24J329. And if you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, and you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube. Let's get right into this thing because this thing is gorgeous. It's got a really cool interior. I can't wait to show you that, so stick around for that as well. Starting off in the front, you can see they have the updated grill and that grill is a little bit narrower than before. It's actually the same length, but they've made this black down here so it looks thinner, um, but they did adjust the height of the uh, grill there. Has the LED headlamps, running lights, the running lights and the fenders, and the running lights and the fog lights, or and the LED lights and the fog lights, um, all standard on the Mojave. So you got a couple different trim levels for uh, 2024, you got the Sport, Sport S, Willis, Mojave, Rubicon, Rubicon X, and then the Mojave X, which I believe gives you the bigger wheels and tires. Uh, you get the orange tow hooks on this one, part of that Mojave package, and you also have the Mojave lettering on the hood there. It looks really good. Comes with the single hood scoop in the front there. And uh, we're gonna take a look under the hood. This one does have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. It's gonna get you 22 miles per gallon on the highway, 17 city for an average of 19 miles per gallon. The Mojaves come with the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W tires. These are LT28570R17s and you get these 17 inch painted and polished aluminum wheels. Uh, definitely a good tread pattern for off-roading in the desert because that's what this thing is made to do. The Mojaves come with a one inch lift bigger than the uh, Rubicon package. You also get, of course, the big Fox shocks on there, the Jounce bumpers with the shocks in them as well. And just a really cool package, really good look to this vehicle. Uh, a couple little things to note for 2024, you'll see there's no more antenna there. They have a desirated badge. You also get the Jeep lettering, but that's because the antennas are now all in the windshield and these are all Corning Gorilla Glass, just like the Wranglers uh, got for 2024. You get these sandals in the shroud there. Jeep climbing, climbing up the side. The doors still come off the same with the T50 Torx bit. We did a video on how to take your doors off. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. You get the rock rails on the bottom there. Get the big fox shocks in the back as well and i believe that these all come with just a ton of skid plates for off-roading in the desert and everything is very beefy back here including all these control arms and everything sport brakes on there as well this one has a 4500 pound towing capacity all the mojaves do you get the led tail lamps towing package with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. You get the powder coated tow hooks on the back. Locking tailgate has the shock down assist tailgate, spray and bed liner from Mopar. You also have your case for your front hard top pieces, then your license plate uh, holder for the front, LED bed lights and 419. I think that's the area code where these are made. Um, if you know for sure, let me know in the comments below. And the spray and bed liner goes on to the tailgate. Tailgate's very light and shuts nice and solidly. Also, let me know what you think of the Anvil color. Uh, really good looking color on this vehicle. This color, of course, it replaced the ever popular Sting Gray. And uh, 
A lot of people like it. I don't think they like it as much as the Stingray, but here's really what got me on this particular Gladiator, and it is the interior color. It is a green leather, and it uh, has the kind of bronze stitching on it. Looks really, really good. And it's a real subtle green. You know it's not too green, but just green enough that you're like, oh yeah, that is green. Um, both these front seats are, of course, are power uh, now and with the lumbar, and that is new for 2024. They also have the Wrangler and Gladiator back to back, a little plaque there that's new. Auto headlamps, power mirrors, power locks. You get the green bolster on the door. Take a quick look at the back seats. They are green as well. There's your wireless uh, Bluetooth speaker, which is a pretty nice addition. Manual sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. These headrests, of course, fold down for better visibility when nobody's riding back here. And then you get a locking backrest, which means that you can store valuables and stuff back here and then lock it, especially when the hard top's off. Uh, it's nice to have your stuff safe and sound. Got some bolts back here to take this hard top off. We also did a demo on how to take your Jeep Gladiator hard top off. That's in the description below and in the upper right hand part of the screen. You get two USBs, two USB-Cs back here, 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in, factory floor mats. You also get a nice confined storage area under the seats. This is where you store all your bolts for your doors, windshield, and hard top. And of course, child safety locks on the back doors. Let's go check out the updated dash in the front here. And you get the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer on there, compass display uh, looks really good. Not much has changed on that front. Uh, you get the leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, adaptive cruise controls on there as well. Uh, Bluetooth and information center controls, audio controls, you get that same kind of brown, bronzish stitching on the steering wheel and the nice thumb pads there. So it comes with the Uconnect 12.35, the Uconnect 5 12.3 inch touchscreen radio. You have, of course, all your different radio stations, AM, FM, and Sirius. And then you get all your different sources on here. You can do Bluetooth, USB, AUGS, and USB 2. Of course, your climate controls are going to be on here. You get your dual climate controls. You get your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls, uh, the factory navigation. This is an upgrade with the technology package. So you also get the Alpine premium sound system. And then, of course, you get all your different vehicle settings. You have a forward facing camera, which is basically the trail cam. Those lines are dynamic. So as I turn the steering wheel, they turn so you can kind of see where your tires are going to be in the future. So you're not going to run over a rock or a log and wreck your wheels or anything like that. And then your backup camera, they've made those crystal clear and you can zoom in on the receiver hitch to get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time, every time. Here are all your apps. I'm not gonna go through everything, but I'm just gonna kind of scroll. A lot of this stuff is just different links to different parts of the radio. You can see like nav, well, I could just go to nav there. Uh, then your phone, this one does have wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You get your different vehicle settings, off-road pages. And um, like I said, rear view camera, front camera, like just different links to different stuff on this radio. Uh, the one thing is the off-road pages, which you can see you get your steering angle, your transfer case if it's locked or unlocked, which is pretty cool. As I turn the wheel, those angles change. You get your latitude, longitude, altitude, all that good stuff. Accessory gauges, pitch and roll, and of course, another link to your front facing camera. So they really want you to use that thing. Anyways, a lot of really cool things you can do with this radio. Of course, the dash has been upgraded um, to accommodate this radio. The air vents are now the thin style underneath the radio. Down here and below, everything's the same uh, from 2023 to 2024. You get the axle lock for the uh, rear axle only on the Mojave. You get off-road plus mode, four auxiliary upfit switches. That's part of the towing package. USB, USB-C, and an aux jack, 4x4 shifter, and your 8-speed automatic transmission. There is your Gladiator on the top of there, keyless entry with the remote start with the switchblade key um, or flipper key, however you want to call it, like those keys always have since they came out. And the other cool thing to note is the 
dash is the same material and color as the seats. So kind of just that light green accent to it. It looks really, really good. Let me know what you think of the colors in the, in the comments below. Really curious to see if everybody likes it as much as I do. You get the upgraded lights, and that is because all the Gladiators now have side curtain airbags, which is a great thing. Definitely keeping you safe. And then the front hard top pieces, the crushed eggshell finish with the quick releases, assist and SOS buttons, and the auto dimming mirror. Home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. And let's go take a look under the hood real quick, and then we'll turn on all the lights and uh, do a final walk around here. And then we'll check out that original window sticker. Remember that original window sticker is going to be linked, uh, a link to that in the description below. So if you don't want to wait around to there, I'd appreciate it if you did. But if you don't, it's linked in the description below for your time savings. And if it doesn't say sold in the title, there's a good chance that this vehicle is available. So you can visit us on the website. There's the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. And uh, basically everything you need to take care of is in yellow, oil, um, brake fluid, washer fluid, uh, power steering fluid, all that good stuff. So not much to see. So that uh, hood scoop is definitely just uh, for show because it doesn't actually work. There's no opening there. There's the emission sticker. And let's check out these LED lights real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the lights in the picture studio and then we're going to show you just how bright they are. I believe those fog lights are updated for 2024 even over the Wrangler fog lights. So let's check those out. All right, you can see just how bright those lights are. And I think the fog lights are even brighter uh, than they normally are on the Wrangler. Uh, but definitely a nice addition. So these are going to be standard on the Willis, the Rubicon, Rubicon X, Mojave and Mojave X standard LED headlights. I believe you can get them on the Sport S as a package, just like the Wrangler. And then you get the LED tail lamps, which look really good as well. And of course, the LED license plate lights. So let's uh, go check out that original window sticker and we'll be all set to go. So here is the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this at any point. I'm not going to go through everything, but most of it. 2024 Gladiator Mojave Anvil clear coat is the color black and green interior colors is the interior color. Uh, leather trim bucket seats with the sport bolsters, 3.6, eight speed automatic transmission. And you can see all your standard equipment, including the Fox 2.5 performance internal bypass shocks, Fox performance hydro jounce bumpers, the full speed Forward Collision Warning Plus, Enhanced Adaptive Cruise Control, Advanced Brake Assist. Everything there is your standard equipment. The 410 gears, the 33-inch tires, Command Track Part-Time 4-Wheel Drive, Fuel Tank Skid Plate, Transfer Skid Plate, Front Bumper Skid Plate, and the Terrain Specific Off-Road Plus Mode. Um, interior features are standard there. Optional equipment be begins with the Anvil Clear Coat, which is $5.95. Paint coat on that is PDS, if you were curious, PDS. And then the leather trim bucket seats with the Sport Bolsters are a $1,995 option. The Convenience Group is a $1,145 option, which gives you heated seats, wheel, and remote start, and universal garage door opener. The Technology Group, which is $2,295, gives you the GPS navigation, HD radio, the Uconnect 5 with the 12.3 touchscreen display, integrated voice command, Alpine premium audio system, the wireless speaker, forward-facing trail cam, and the auto-dimming rear view mirror. 8-speed automatic transmission is $2,500. And then the Black Freedom Top 3-piece hard top is $1,595. The 17-inch wheels are $1,095. And then the spray and bed liner is $555 for Mopar. Total MSRP on this Mojave is $66,665. If you want to get your Summit price with the rebates and incentives in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below is a link to this vehicle on our website if it's still available to get all the rebates and incentives, uh, definitely go check us out there. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. And there are your miles per gallon, average fuel cost, fuel economy and greenhouse gas rating, 
and it's only rated for rollover, which is three stars. You can see that that passenger seat is power and lumbar as well. And that's everything I have on this particular Gladiator. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And to see more pictures of this Gladiator, one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Gladiators, Wagoneers, you name it, we got it. Go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you want to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates in the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube, over 9,500 videos, and one of the largest catalogs of Gladiator and Wrangler videos as well. Also stay up to date on our current inventory so you do not miss out on awesome vehicles like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Gladiator videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We are super excited to be offering the 2024 mid-model refresh Jeep Gladiator Mojave in Anvil clear coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it, and uh, have a great day.